The next unit we'll be covering is Alphonse of the Asker Trio. Alphonse is one of those units that struggles due to the fact that he can't get merges more so than anything else because his scatline isn't necessarily the worst with a base attack of 35 and then a super boon in speed which can then be raised to 29 making it fairly workable. However, because he can't get merges and can only get 15 flowers, he's relatively limited in what he can do in, his, in the grand scheme of things that isn't just based off his attack. However, at least with the 15 flowers, you could get his measly speed of 25 to 28, and if you do use any fruits to change his IV, you can easily get it to a base of 32, which isn't necessarily the worst, but when you consider the fact that he can't get merges, that becomes a problem. However, because he is part of the Asker Trio, he's a rotating bonus unit in a lot of the seasons, thus could make it more workable, but it's still a problem nonetheless. And another thing he suffers from is his preferred weapon in the form of a brazen attack blade with a triangle adept refine, which isn't necessarily the best when you consider the fact that it limits the scope in which he can take on units, and the setup. The setup part is more of an issue in my opinion because for the first, at least the first combat, you won't have access to any of the buffs, which means Alphonse will have to survive on his own. However, once he gets that effect going, he can actually become relatively tanky against melee units. However, dragons and mages are still going to cakewalk him because of his low res and low speed, so that's always something worth considering. And the triangle adept can be relatively useful depending on the season, of course, because you can easily go up against hard hitting greens and make those matchups much more easy. However, blues are still going to cakewalk him anyway, so it's not as if not having triangle adept is going to make those matchups any better because he can't take on those blues anyway. Leg units like legendary Krom. Dimitri, etc. Any of the blue ones are still going to mess him up anyway, so having the Triangle Adept Refine isn't necessarily the worst to have around. Especially if it improves matchups against units like Brave Edelgard, Legendary Edelgard, and anything that's green. However, if you did want to focus on making him some sort of carry for Aether Raids, for example, on his bonus season, you could always bring him on to the Light Season. Late season, you'll want to replace his weapon because a brazen attack defense weapon with triangle depth is going to provide no means of help whatsoever. Considering a most of the Aether Raid's defense units are mages, and b it requires setup, so there's a good chance that it's not going to be coming into use anytime soon. Which is why I would recommend trying to invest into his speed, possibly dumping his resistance. I forgot to put a Bane on this one, but let's just assume a resistance Bane, and then stacking up his speed. Because he does have workable speed on bonus as well, you can give him something like Pedal Parasol, which raises his attack and speed even more, as long as the foe has a penalty. You could speed refine it, putting at a base of 35. You could give him the attack speed solo seal, then you could give him blessings from air or peony or whatever raises witch, and then spurn and distant counter. It's a staple build that you'll see on a lot of speedy units anyway because it works so well. But I do believe that Alphonse can make it work with a Pedal Parasol or any weapon that does increase his speed. However, you want to make sure he can use his attack too because that's also equally as important. However, what he can do with this set is relatively weak in comparison to units that can do it way better even as a one-off copy such as Marita, Rioma, Ira, etc. So that's something worth to keep in mind. Although if you do want to use him, he, you have the option to, and because he does get bonus stats on the every so often, it's oh, it's not necessarily a bad option per se. However, if you do want to use him on defense, there's something more interesting you could do with that. For this set, this is relatively untested, but it should work in theory. I put him on the dark defense because of Bramimund, mostly. Although you can really put him on either. His matchups are fairly favorable in both seasons against the mythics. In light you have Peony, Air, Mila, Freya, and now Dagger. And then in Astra you have a bunch of reds and one blue. So really you could go either season with this, but I put him in dark just because I think you'll have a better time over there. And for this build I decided to give him a Brave Sword with Death Blow 4 and Wings of Mercy. He's going to be acting more as a Wings of Mercy unit because Getting him across the map in a relatively safe fashion doesn't seem like it's going to be the easiest time. The reason we give him a Brave Sword over anything else is because we want to trigger his Pavis with Times Pulse because Pavis is 50% reduction on 
3 cooldown. He and himself can also act as a wing to mercy bot if he does survive if the foe does survive because the pav is combined with the deflect melee can make it so he can survive a lot of melee attacks after initiating combat, thus triggering more wings of mercy, which is easier said than done depending. So you will want to have another unit that can trigger wings of mercy with relative ease maybe someone like conrad or someone like rolf or python depending on how you build them of course but this is more of a gimmicky set than anything else i don't know how much i don't know how well this is going to work in practice but it's something that could be interesting because most people are not going to be prepping for these types of builds or units on defense. Just make sure he's out of range of anything that can snipe him because at low speed and low resistance is easy enough for him to get sniped, especially with a defense set of 35. It's not really going to be the most workable. And then for general use we have two builds, one making use of his preferred weapon and then one making use of Ninja Katana. Because he does have a super boon in speed, it's easy enough to make it workable in something like PvE with Ninja Katana, Luna, Double Life and Death, Desperation and Defense Smoke. Defense Smoke there being there so he can output more damage. Ninja Katana is just there to make more use of his speed. And because it's lowering his defense and res anyway, you might as well dump it for Life and Death because that can help increase his speed and attack even more. However, I would say that the only thing you might run into is that now that we're getting more and more speedy units, it's hard to say whether or not he can actually quad with this much speed. Maybe not in some of the story modes, but probably everything else he should be fine. And then the other one is just going to be making use of his preferred weapon. We have his brazen sword with defense refine because triangle adept isn't really needed here. We have double brazen attack defense in his A and S. Rouse attack defense, which is a relatively accessible skill now thanks to Orson and advantage if you want to snipe in the enemy phase. There's plenty you can change out his B for. I'm not really sure what I would give him personally for his B because a lot of it's just for tanking. You can't really use quick repose with brazen attack defense because the threshold is really really small. However, you could probably use something like special spiral glimmer or moonbow if you want to do that and initiate with instant glimmers or moonbows depending on what you're interested in. Personally, I think Vantage isn't necessarily a bad skill either because if you go up against a sword unit, for example, and he's already taken too much damage, the extra enemy phase coverage wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea. However, he's still going to be prone to dragons and mages because he still has low speed and low resistance, but it's a build nonetheless because he can still get an effective 18 attack. Or sorry, he can effectively get a boost of 21 attack and then 21 defense because of the triple brazen. And then finally we have something for Arena. If you do want to use him there, you can always bring a Pledge Blade with Ruptured Sky. Pledge Blade is more so for the fact that he can retaliate with Ruptured Sky every combat. We also have his dual infantry, low attack defense, and joint drive attack with quick repost 3. This is more so he can act as an enemy phase unit. You could always change the build depending on what you prefer. I gave him Pledge Blade so he can always retaliate with Ruptured Sky. You can always keep Folk Vanger if you want to. And then run some sort of different C because if he has his preferred weapon then he doesn't need a 300 SPC. If you do keep Quick Repost with his preferred weapon you could always change out his Ruptured Sky to Blue Flame and you'll still score like max. I'd personally run him in the enemy phase because I don't think he has a necessarily good player phase with his preferred weapon in arena and ninja katana doesn't really score all too well as well as brave sword so i think that's how i would use him there and the reason we're using him in fire season is because a majority of the reds and greens are in fire season which means his matchups are generally better even though a couple of them are mages he can always initiate on them and he should be able to take them out with one hit or at least if he gets up against Lilina, for example, he might be able to take him out, take her out with two hits, depending, because she is relatively slow. Or if you just wanted to make him into a check for Arena Assault, you can always give him an Armor Smasher with an Attack Refine, a Double Death Blow, a Special Spiral, and then the new Attack Defense Menace. I think this should allow him to one-hit KO a lot of armors, minus the new Fallen Edelgard because of her 40% reduction, but it should be fine nonetheless. I do think that that's where his secondary role could be in Arena, for example, because he does have a relatively good attack at a base of 35, and I believe he doesn't have a super boon, but it still goes up to a good amount of 38. The Armor Smasher with an attack refund just only excels to bring it up more. There's no real reason to give him a, any other sort of refine because his speed isn't really going to be workable enough. His defense 
he doesn't really need it. He doesn't really need the resistance one either. You don't really want him taking that much damage anyway, so you're better off trying to focus on one-shot builds than anything else. And that's about it for Alphonse. Let me know what you think down below. I always like to hear what you have to say. I hope this provided some insight on how to use them. And thanks for watching.